Hey man, what's up? I'm back with another 180 way video. This is Josh Johnson's back back with the the quality. You know what I mean? Hey y'all with the high quality. I mean, make sure y'all listen. I'm gonna be spinning game, telling y'all what to do, get these 180 ways how they need to be. So make sure y'all listen for me, watch all the way through, like, comment, subscribe, ask me any questions. My Snapchat is also breeders or die. If you're trying to do them one on one, you feel me get get to me like the quickest is gonna be burritos or dollar on snapchat that's gonna be like the fastest way to get to me in real time you feel me so it ain't no excuses you got any questions let me know because i'm gonna answer it you know what i mean if you don't ask it i'm not gonna know so boom but basically i'm gonna tell y'all how to get 180 waves the fastest in like five minutes you feel me like if you're trying to get waves quick you know what i mean you probably got a date or something like that you're trying to show out for your crush you know what i'm saying show out for you. somebody your little girl whatever like that so i'm gonna tell you basically get away so fast is is in your shower method you feel me your shower method is gonna get everything together make sure your waves are laid down as best as possible you know what i mean like if you're just starting out and you're like yo i want my waves quick i want my waves now i can't wait shower brushing shower combing and then making sure you have natural products is the way to do it you know what i mean like and right now i am scrambler washing because i'm a little bit more seasoned in the wave game like i've been kind of waving for a minute so i'm able to scramble wash a lot easier because i'm able to shower brush so when you do scramble wash you can shower brush after to get your pattern back but you know what i'm saying i make sure i'm getting to my scalp because i want my scalp very clean i want my scalp very moisturized and nourished you know what i mean like i don't want to make sure that i like leave anything you know like that so a lot of times when you don't scrimmage wash you miss things so you you know depending on you that's up to you but i like scrimmage washing just make sure i'm clean and i do go to the gym so that's also a must you know what i mean because you know sweating and everything like that so but back to it make sure that you are washing your hair is very very important so if you're trying to manipulate your curls like or you want to try to manipulate your 180 waves the quickest or 360 waves even is making sure you're washing your hair immediately like doing this process in the shower is going to be easiest because your hair is at its most vulnerable state when it is soaked you know what i mean when there's water on top of it and it's also going to be your most moisturized because all the water that's on your hair so as you see right now me combing it you see how easy it is to just see the waves and like lay down my curls it is possible with shower the shower method like just making sure you're doing that even if this is your first day you know what i mean your first week doing this you're probably gonna see some type of re results if you do this in the shower because you're manipulating your hair when it's when it's the easiest you know what i mean the, and anything else is going to be harder because it's dry it's not as moisturized you don't know what type of product you have everything like that so just to get started try this out first just so you can get your results you know what i mean if you want quick results you want to be ready for whatever event or whatever like that try this method out and then also too just to be 100 with you your hair has to be it's have some type of length to it you know what i mean and then me i'm like more of a medium hair waver so mine is my hair is a little bit more curly in a sense like when it's like wet so i am able to really manipulate and go through my whole head a lot faster than somebody or you know my hair might be a little bit more curlier than let's say like a straight hair waver but in the in the end anyone can do this but generally if you are a straight hair waver it may take you a little bit more longer to see results because your hair is just so straight especially when it's soaked so this is kind of like from our coarse hair and medium hair where it's like you know what i mean like it's gonna be a lot easier for you but uh nonetheless if you are a straight hair waver you can still do this process it's just that you have to just wait a little bit longer and you have to do this process a lot longer you know because of your hair type but nonetheless to just get into it I also want to tell you guys, you can do a deep treatment mask too. Right now I'm putting in like the conditioner and then I'm also putting in the leave-in conditioner. So that way my hair is moisturized throughout the day. Um, just doing that is going to help out with your quality as well. And also help out with the shine and then just like the definition of your curls, like or your uh, 180 waves. Cause you know, 180 waves is just basically laid down curls, but you know, diff just for the definition and the shine, having that in your hair, is just going to make sure that everyone can see it it's so visible you can see it and it's going to set the progress and set your pattern and that's what i'm doing with the shower brushing as you see i was scrambling washing it was kind of everywhere but now i'm able to lay it down with the harder brush this is kind of like 
I would say like a medium harder brush. It's not necessarily hard, but I do this so that way the waves are just coming in easily. You know what I'm saying? It's just forming. I'm getting all that out. As you see, my hair is kind of going from curly, somewhat curly to, you know, a more straight waver type. You know what I mean? Like just laying it down. Like as you can see, it just kind of evenly goes down. And that's what I'm saying with the shower is just the easiest because I don't have to do any like super manual labor, like brushing for a long time in the mirror and everything. Because you're trying, we're trying to get you waves in the quickest. So doing this in showers is easiest. Please try that out if you are interested. If you do want waves really quick, try that out first because you're going to see the the best products. I mean, the best product, blah, the best progress in the shower. You know what I mean? So I do that. I put in my uh, my Shea Moisture. What is that? Uh, Leave-in conditioner, and then I also have the Shea Moisture like shampoo. I believe I had the high porosity. Um, but mine's is kind of like a mixture of both, so it really doesn't matter necessarily for me personally. But you do want to know if you have low price or high porosity. But for me, I just put it in, and then I, even if it isn't, just put it in the leave in conditioner too. And then that way your hair just moisturizes and you, know, you get that added protection in it. Um, I also recommend that you have a really good brush too during this process, like have a shower brush brush for this process and then also have like a dry brush that you don't put in the shower because it's going to change your bristle quality if you keep doing that too so just give y'all like a fair warning definitely uh have two different types of brushes as many as you can so that way you are not messing up brushes that cost a lot of money so also too uh, what i really do like is coconut oil while my hair is wet like that definitely helps out if you're trying to get waves really quickly because the coconut oil through your hair is just gonna lock in all the moisture that you put in. So that way your waves are gonna still be moisturized, but they're also gonna be more visible and you're not gonna lose moisture throughout the day or even throughout the week. So basically putting in coconut oil where your hair is wet is gonna lock in the moisture so that way your hair is defined, gives you that like microscopic, like really defined look, you know what I mean? So I definitely like the coconut oil, definitely helps out. And as you can see, my hair is drying. The quality is changing. You're seeing like, okay, he does have waves. It's not as defined as when he was in the shower, but that's when I, you know, dry it. And then I put in my other products like the pomade and then I brush, I get my pattern how I want it. And it's very, very quick. It doesn't take that long. And then my hair is clean and I'm also having, you know, the pattern I need. I'm fixing my pattern, changing out any forks if I see anything. And then also going with castor oil too, just to make sure like I have as much moisture as possible because moisture is also key because it's also gonna give you your hair its shine and it's also gonna give you the, the, the scalp quality that you need. You know what I mean? Make sure your scalp is good, making sure that you're um, making sure it's showing. You know what I mean? So definitely having that in your hair is just for longevity. And then that way you won't dry out through the, you know, through day. You don't want dry waves. So that's important too. If you want waves really quickly, definitely do this process. This process is key. It's goaded. I want to tell you guys this. If it didn't work, it does work. And um, yeah, I ended off generally with a do-rag. Um, I don't wet my do-rag. Me personally, I will make a video about that. I just have it dry and then I let my hair dry under the do-rag. My hair is like a little damp, but it's not soaked. You know what I mean? So I do that. Then after that, the easiest process comes. Once I took off the do-rag, my hair is laid down. And also during this process, like when you shower brush and everything like that, you are training your hair to be laid down a lot easier because you're manipulating your wave pattern in the shower while your hair is wet. It's so much easier to do that way than to do it in the dry like having your waves dry because it's just that much harder, man. Like I'm telling you, you have to literally sit there, get the hard brush, make sure your waves are pulling in a certain way. It's your hair is not as shiny and everything like that. So just to skip that process, like, cause I was like you guys not knowing this and it just made it so much harder for me to get my pattern not how I wanted, um, how I wanted it. So just doing this process in the shower is just it's just easier man if you want waves quick i keep repeating this because i want to make sure you guys get it this is how you do it this is the quickest way please believe me when i say this it's true 
it's just the method that I love and I want to make sure that you guys are learning it too and um, also what I also recommend for you guys to get is a Torino Pro get a Torino Pro the link is in the description um, and then also the drags are in the description that I use so that way you're using your products that I use as well and I just brush I brush my pattern the way I want it um, sometimes I might go 360 sometimes I might want to go 180 it just kind of depends and it depends on how long I get my cut like in between each cut so yeah and then also depending on the cut that you get the length determines that how high your hair is so it's going to show how many waves you get you know what I mean like if your hair is really really low you're probably not going to have that many waves um, they may be deep they may look good but you may not have as many so just keep that in mind if you do want more waves you may have to wait longer to just grow your hair out you know it's all personal preference of what you like so just keep that in mind and then as you can see the definition just everything mixed all together and it's just perfect and i use the gold sporting waves as i always say that just saves the progress as like a memory card and uh yeah that's just how it goes you know what i mean if you look looking at your waves really quickly just do that man don't don't over complicate it and then also just stick with the method if it is working for you and then also to check out different products that work with your hair because everybody's different but also use good products and you know get recommended based on your hair type specifically so yeah i think that's pretty much it yeah that is it and um that was the end of the video just want to give you all these quick tips good tips uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will get back to you on that. You can also add me on uh, Snapchat on Burritos or Die. I'll get back to you on that. Uh, like the video. If you like the video, make sure you turn post notifications. And I'll be back with my next video, my next banger soon. Bet. I'm out.